good evening friends as per the my word today i going to discuss about the passive voice in the previous uh, class we have discussed about the active voice all the 12 active voice and we have discussed about the concord and um, main verb divisions of main verb and divisions of that helping verb and uh, the usage of it we have discussed in the um, part 1 today part 2 i am going to discuss about the passive voice uh, part 3 uh, okay whatever it may be in part 3 i am going to discuss about uh, the passive voice the both knowledge about active voice and passive voice that is essential we also we are also not always active sometimes we are passive sometimes we are active when our mind is fresh when we are, we are in good health we must lead that active life yes when we don't have that fresh mind or our we have we are in weak condition we don't have sufficient energy means we have to lead that passive life passive life the action will be done upon us we cannot give or that lead all the time is the active one sometimes we have to lead the passive life automatically whether we responds to our life or not life will keep on moving that is essential like that eh? this is a passive voice means this is the same pattern subject verb object here the verb is otherwise known as that passive verb passive verb means always annexure uh, uh, with the helping verb helping verb plus uh, how can we identify that active verb active verb means uh, and it will not reliance with the uh, be form and uh, we have that present and present form past form and future uh, pa- past participle and present participle yes but in the passive form how means uh, it always comes with b form plus uh, b4 uh, sorry v3 v3 b form plus uh, and uh, past participle of the verb do form plus past participle of the verb have form plus past participle of verb or models plus b plus past participle of verb means we come across that the passive verb for example ram eats uh, a mango daily ram eat mango daily this is active voice because the subject is doer of the action here a mango is eaten by ram daily that means uh, the action is done upon that uh, a yeah, mango the action is uh, here it is the receiver of the action mango mango is a receiver of the action but the doer of the action is preceded by the word and by in that place a yeah, mango is eaten by ram daily here it is the ram eats a yeah, mango daily that is active voice because the subject is doer of the action this uh, subject is receiver of the action subject is receiver of the action means uh, that is called passive voice uh, the, all these things uh, have been written by me it is passive voice i have written all these things that is active voice because uh, all these things uh, that no action is done upon by me i have completed that action by <coughs> and uh, by compulsion of that uh, um, uh, and uploading the videos uh, for the welfare of the students uh, that is uh, more important we cannot to say you know all the things uh, in uh, uh, active form some things we must uh, use that passive form so knowledge about uh, thorough knowledge about uh, active form as well as the passive form active knowledge about active voice and passive voice is very very essential Uh, to become that a uh, very effective speaker that is uh, essential first uh, the subject of the active voice become the object of the passive voice object of the active voice become the subject of the passive voice the verb it gets the corresponding past participle form you know all the we, we, we have 12 active form and uh, eight passive form and what are the things we will see regarding for this so one more time of things uh, we have to keep in our mind about this uh, b form verb once again uh, b form verb am is uh, am is uh, or was were this is called the b form verb present tense past tense was were yes 
அதேபோல் டூ ஃபார்ம் வெர்பு டூ டஸ் டிட்டு அண்ட் ஹவ் ஃபார்ம் வெர்பு அண்ட் ஹவ் ஹேஸ் ஹேடு எஸ் ஷல் ஷூட் வில் வூட் கேன் குட் மே மைட்டு ஆர் டு டேர் யூஸ் டு டு ஹேவ் டு நீட் டு தட் இஸ் எ ஹெல்பிங் வெர்ப் தட் இஸ் எ மெயின் வெர்ப் யூ நோ த வி ஒன் வி ஒன் வி டூ வி த்ரீ எஸ் வி ஒன் வி டூ இது திஸ் ஆல் திங்ஸ் வில் கம் இன் த ஆக்டிவ் வாய்ஸ் பட் இந்த இந்த பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் ஒன்லி பாஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபல் வெதர் இட் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் சிம்பிள் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஆர் ப்ரெசன்ட் கண்டினியூவஸ் ஆர் பாஸ்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ப்ரெசன்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ப்ரெசன்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் லைக் தட் இஸ் சிம்பிள் பாஸ்ட் ஆர் பாஸ்ட் கண்டினியூவஸ் பாஸ்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ஆர் சிம்பிள் ஃபியூச்சர் ஆர் ஃபியூச்சர் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ஃபார் ஆல் திங்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு ரைட் ஒன்லி வித் திஸ் ஹெல்பிங் வெர்ப் ஹெல்பிங் வெர்ப் ப்ளஸ் this uh, v3 form v3 form all the v3 form we will go and see regarding with this v3 form only we have to write whatever is that is positive past tense or present tense or future tense we have to use with this only the tense will be identified with the which b form is used we are using the present tense or past tense or that models whatever it may be for regarding for this uh, நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் தட் இது வி ஃபோர் ஹியர் வி ஃபோர் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஃபார் ஆக்டிவ் ஃபார்மில் தான் வி கேன் யூஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் வி ஃபோர் அது ப்ரெசன்ட் கண்டினியூவஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரெசன்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபல் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் ஃபார் த ஆக்டிவ் ஃபார்ம் இந்த பேசிவ் ஃபார்மில் வி கேனாட் யூஸ் ஜெரண்ட் வி கேன் யூஸ் ஒன்லி த பாஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபல் பாஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபல் அண்ட் சிம்பிள் பாஸ்ட் யூ நோ வெரி வெல் ரிகார்டிங் வித் திஸ் கோ வென் டு கான் அண்ட் கோயிங் அண்ட் ரைட் ரோட் ரிட்டர்ன் ரைட்டிங் ரைட்டிங் and eat now there is concentrate for this uh, 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 drunk uh, gone written eaten cut and seen spoken run come played sung only for this uh, past participle only we have to concentrate in our mind uh, at the time of changing the uh, changing the uh, passive form that is uh, very essential first uh, here look at it here uh, Uh, look at here uh, regarding to this uh, this active voice tenses and uh, present tense past tense future tense here go means uh, active voice he uh, is gone or are gone is a passive form passive form but writes is the active active form but is written or written am written that is called as a uh, uh, passive form or varad or am will not come the passive form for r we have to use am we r is used other plus went means past tense simple past tense active form active voice it was gone and uh, were gone that means uh, passive form and the eight is a past tense eight uh, i ate for 10 idlis uh, uh, to this day morning this day morning uh, that is called as eight is a past tense it was eaten were eaten but singular means uh, he uh, for a uh, uh, yeah, mango was uh, eaten by by me or uh, that a yeah, mango was eaten by me a mango means plural singular like this had played is a uh, active form it had been played that is called uh, the football uh, had been played by the uh, talented players talented players uh, like this and uh, shall walk shall walk uh, will walk is that uh, active form but shall be walked and will be walked that is called a passive form it is our basic knowledge we have to identify it at the time of reading uh, any passage or uh, uh, novel or fiction or play or prose or newspaper whatever it may be and uh, we have to Uh, easily identified what tense it is that is the past tense or uh, uh, pre- present tense or past tense or future tense or that uh, that is active voice or that passive voice but who is that doer of the action this kind of knowledge we have to keep in our mind uh, at the time of understand anything what we are going to uh, listen what we are going to and read uh, that is essential without uh, knowledge of all these things uh, it is not uh, it is not easy to speak uh, in english language it is not easy to understand the english language uh, that is essential i can speak uh, like uh, english man Uh, but uh, you can't understand that's why i'm using to speak like uh, an english method indian indian english yeah indian english is somewhat different from that uh, british english or something like this here uh, 12 forms for understanding purpose 
and uh, at, at the time of discussing about the active voice i have changed the uh, subject names but, but now i used to only all the 12 form i used to only for uh, uh, i i only i used to in the same manner we can use for that we use for substitute for the we substitute for you substitute for uh, and i so instead of i we can use he or she it they or that name of the person or your name or my name or uh, our favorite names also it should be replaced okay but now i am going to 12 uh, active voice 12 active voice i eat a yeah, mango daily yeah, mango is that only uh, we have to give support to that things uh, to help our farmers only uh, and uh, i eat an apple means uh, the similar people and american people have been benefited if once the children's mind is feed up with what we feed up the same thing that the children will use until end of their life kolandile ella da apple and i eat an apple so every day they go to market or parents will come father bring one cage apple because they know not anything about mango that's why i am giving this idea about mango but mango fruits have many more amount of calories protein minerals antioxidants rather than apple apple is nothing but any have familiar with that okay i eat a mango daily this is a simple present tense i am eating i am eating a mango now ipozhudhu சாப்பிட்டுக்கிட்டு இருக்க இப்போ என்ன மாங்க மாங்க சாப்பிடல அப்போ என்ன சொன்னேன் ஐ எம் நாட் ஈட்டிங் மேங்கோ நவ் எஸ் தட் இஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் ஈட் அண்ட் ஏ மேங்கோ ஜஸ்ட் நவ் இப்போ தான் ஜஸ்ட் நவ் ஐ ஹாவ் ஈட் அண்ட் ஏ மேங்கோ ஜஸ்ட் நவ் ஐ ஐ ஹாவ் ஈட் அண்ட் டென் இட்லீஸ் ஐ வித் கிரேட் எஃபர்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹம் அலியர் அண்ட் வி வில் ஷேர் வித் தட் திங்ஸ் லைக் தட் வி கேன் சே ஜஸ்ட் நவ் சம் இஃப் எனிபடி இஸ் அப்ரோச் டு ஆஸ்க் இஸ் டு மணி and give 5000 or 10000 but just now i have given that amount to my son or just now i have given uh, that amount to my friend another person sorry i don't have people used to say this uh, tense is very helpful sentence uh, present uh, perfect is a very uh, very and uh, useful sentences everyone familiar with that escape from that in the difficult situations yes i have uh, eaten a mango just now uh, like that i have been eating a mango uh, mango since my childhood days people used to say like this i have been eating a mango since morning since my childhood days since last week we have to say regarding for this is a next thing is i ate a mango yesterday nan eti i ate that means i ate one mango when i was in my house that mango is not in my house that flesh of the pulp of the fruits is enter into my stomach and also the nut is thrown into the field outside of that house like that i ate completed process no mango that is means i ate a mango and yesterday and i was eating a mango by this time yesterday like that this is called a, and present uh, past continuous past continuous i had eaten a mango before uh, uh, before uh, i went to bed i went to bed because already i told you the regarding for this and we uh, next thing is i had been eating a mango and till yesterday neethi varaikum vachikitte one basket full of mango last mango i ate yesterday i had been eating a mango till yesterday like because my uncle had brought a basket full of mango from his forest but i ate without even giving it because that was too delicious like salam malkova like that regarding with this that i shall eat, i i like i shall eat a mango tomorrow i because tomorrow my father will bring a mango i will eat the small children used to say like this if any, any children any any child is eating anything and that child uh, is not uh, give, give giving uh, into another child means uh, that will, i will eat uh, i will uh, i will eat mango tomorrow that time i will not uh, give you a small amount because you did not you are not giving anything now that's why i will eat tomorrow people used to say like this eh? next thing is that uh, i shall be eating a mango by this time tomorrow nalike nerum so tomorrow means the future time the action will going to started i shall have been eating a mango and uh, and uh, 
நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் சின்ஸு பை பிஃபோர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் பிஃபோர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் ஐ வில் ஈட் ஒன் மேங்கோ ஐ மீன் ஐ ஹாவ் ஐ ஷால் ஹாவ் ஈட் அண்ட் ஏ மேங்கோ பிஃபோர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் பிஃபோர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் ரிகார்டிங் ஃபார் திஸ் ஐ ஷால் ஹாவ் பீன் ஈட்டிங் ஏ மேங்கோ சின்ஸ் டுமாரோ நாளிலிருந்து ஐ வில் ஈட் ஒன் ஒன் மேங்கோ டெய்லி பட் ஐ வில் நாட் கிவ் எனிபடி ஐ வில் நாட் செல் இட் பிகாஸ் மை ட்ரீ இஸ் பியர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் தட் குட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் ஃபார் திஸ் இன் திஸ் பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் ஃபஸ்ட் த்ரீ சிம்பிள் ப்ரெசன்ட் ப்ரெசன்ட் கண்டினியூஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் வி ஹாவ் பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் வி கேன் சேஞ்ச் த பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் பட் இன் த ஃபோர்த் ஃபார்ம் ப்ரெசன்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் கண்டினியூஸ் டென்ஸ் வி கேனாட் சேஞ்ச் திஸ் வி கேனாட் சேஞ்ச் திஸ் இன் டு த அண்ட் ப்ரெசன்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் கண்டினியூஸ் டென்ஸ் வி கேனாட் சேஞ்ச் இன் டு த பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் நெக்ஸ்ட் சிம்பிள் ஃபாஸ்ட் ஃபாஸ்ட் கண்டினியூஸ் ஃபாஸ்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் வி கேன் சேஞ்ச் த பேசிவ் ஃபார்ம் பட் இந்த ஃபாஸ்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் கண்டினியூஸ் வி கேனாட் சேஞ்ச் வி கேனாட் சேஞ்ச் எஸ் so next thing is that a simple uh, future we can change in the passive form but the future continuous we cannot change we cannot uh, change into the future uh, continuous okay next thing is that future perfect we can change the passive form but uh, in the 12th form future perfect continuous tense there is no future form because uh, we if we change this uh, future form that will committed as a mistake because uh, english man did not change uh, all this we don't have the passive form for this uh, uh, present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense future continuous tense future perfect continuous tense for what are the things we have the passive form means uh, we have the passive form for this uh, simple present tense uh, present continuous present perfect simple past uh, past continuous past perfect then if a simple future and future perfect only eight form we have the passive form and uh, regarding for this uh, how i first interchange first uh, we have to study the sentence into subject verb object subject verb object uh, we have to st- uh, study analyze we, we must have that knowledge about to divide the uh, sentence uh, words and uh, classification of that sentence is very important which is that subject which is that uh, verb which is object which is uh, adjectives and which is adverb which is complement which is uh, direct object which is uh, indirect object such a knowledge is essential my dear friend regarding for this first i eat a mango here is a, which is that uh, subject i verb e uh, eat and uh, object is mango and then uh, adverb is uh, daily you keep that the adverb and adjectives cannot be changed cannot be changed and the verb is also uh, take the corresponding tense of the past participle all the things have the past participle in mistakenly i have mentioned v4 here it is v3 for all the uh, future forms will take the only v3 v3 only uh, not uh, <coughs> and uh, regarding seen that replace from here becomes the future uh, a simple future regarding c10 and uh, have been st eaten here is uh, v3 v3 only we have for example a mango for example subject of object of the active voice become the subject of the passive voice so the mango is that uh, object of the passive voice become the sorry active voice become that uh, subject of the passive voice subject of the passive voice but it is that uh, uh, subject uh, this is for uh, verb this is for verb this is for uh, uh, object here the uh, here uh, performer regarding for this a yeah, mango is eaten by me me yeah, mango is in a present tense what are the present tense we have am is are yeah and the present tense means uh, that things only will come regarding with this a uh, yeah, mango is eaten by me daily அது அட்வர்ப் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் வாட் எவர் இட் மே பி ஐ கீப் ரிகார்டிங் இன் தட் இஸ் சேம் பிளேசஸ் ஓகே அடுத்து நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் தட் இஸ் சேம் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு டிவைட் ஐ ஆம் ஈட்டிங் ஏ மேங்கோ நவ் எஸ் ஏ மேங்கோ ஈஸ் பீயிங் ஈட் அண்ட் பை ஈட் அண்ட் பை மீ டெய்லி ஏ மேங்கோ ஈஸ் ஈட் அண்ட் டெய்லி பை மீ ஓகே ஆல் எல்லாமே வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னாக்க uh past participle only we used to for uh, with that uh, helping verb past participle of the 
main verb should be used. Yeah, mango has been eaten by me just now. Here it is. The, I have eaten a mango just now. Now, if that one mango is after. Yeah, mango has been meaning will change or more. What is the difference between yeah, mango has been eaten by me uh, just now or yeah, I have eaten a mango. I have eaten na uh, purposefully due to hungry. I have eaten, but. Uh, a mango has been eaten by me means we were forced to eat by someone else. Yes, the inning is after because tomorrow that will be rotten or tomorrow not available. With the compulsion of something, if we do anything, uh, that is that we have to mention that things with the passive form. But without a compulsion, we ourselves doing any activities means that we have to say in the uh, active voice. That is essential. Yes. I ate a mango. Here it is we study we ate subject, verb, object. So object of the verb is a mango. What is the past tense? It is. What are the past tense we have? Was there. Was means singular. Where means plural. A mango was eaten by me yesterday. Yes. The yesterday is also placed like this. Uh, uh, whatever it may be. Next thing is that uh, I was eating a mango by this time yesterday. By this time. Yesterday is an active voice. Apa ya mango was being, ya mango was being eaten by me by this time yesterday. By this time yesterday. That is called a passive verb. This is called an active verb. Was eating is the uh, active verb. Here was being eaten by the singular. Adhanala, was being eaten by me by this time. It is called a passive verb. Passive verb regarding for this. The past I had eaten a mango. Before uh, I went to bed, before I went to bed, for example, a yeah, mango had been eaten by me and uh, before I, uh, I I had gone to bed, I had gone to bed, we have to, here it is a past tense, you know, uh, before I was uh, going to, be, uh, gone to bed, gone to bed regarding for this. Next thing is that I shall eat a mango tomorrow, it is called shall eat is an active verb, because the action is done by the subject. Here it is, uh, a mango will be eaten, a mango, I shall, but that is, uh, a mango will, because I, we, I, we, we have to put shall. But for rest of all other things, we have to put the will. Okay. Regarding, say, if we broken the rules, means uh, confirmed, we have to say, a yeah, mango will be eaten by me. This is called uh, a passive verb. Passive will be eaten. Will be eaten. Because uh, the action is done upon this fruit. But I was forced to eat, compelled to eat by someone. Uh, that is the reason from here. For next, uh, uh, future continuous no passive form no passive form future perfect we can change for example i shall have eaten a mango before next week before nw in portugal regarding in that plus next week nw regarding in that i shall have eaten within week like this is called is an active verb here yeah mango will have been eaten by me next week eaten by that is called a passive verb. Passive, how much it distance? And will have been eaten. That is called a passive verb. Passive verbs. But no passive form in that places from here. Like that, we have to change. Only we have a passive form in that simple present tense, present continuous, present perfect. Then simple past, past continuous, past perfect. Then we have that simple future. And future perfect. Only we have eight passive form and twelve active form. We must have that thorough knowledge about uh, tenses uh, to understand anything. So what we listen or what we read or what we write, uh, and we uh, without this basic fundamental knowledge, uh, highly not possible to speak uh, uh, in, speak in English language is essential. Like that in the same manner in all language there is a time is important. Time is there. We have to follow that rules because uh, it is easy to learn the tenses, active wise, page wise, uh, parts of speech, functional unit, uh, and transformation of the grammars, direct speech, indirect speech, degrees of comparison. It is easy, but uh, Tamil is the uh, ilakyam. Uh, uh, what is that? Tamil ilakana nol. Tulgapiam. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, some difficult language, Tamil language, because a uh, lot of rules and regulations is there. But English is a very easy language. That is why it, it was accepted by uh, all over the world people. 
பட் ஒய் இது பீப்புள் அஃப்ரீ டு அக்செப்ட் தமிழ் ஆஸ் நேஷ்னல் லாங்குவேஜ் இட் இஸ் டூ டிஃபிகல் டு லேர்ன் பிகாஸ் ஜவஹர்லால் நேரு நோ சிஸ்டின் லாங்குவேஜ் பட் ஹி ட்ரை டு டு லேர்ன் தமிழ் ஹி ஃபெயில்டு பட் ஹவு நரேந்திர மோடி டைம் டு டைம் யூஸ் டு கம் டு தமிழ்நாடு ஹவு கி கி ட்ரை டு கில் த தமிழ் தமிழ் ஓ மை காட் அண்ட் சச் எ லெவல் அண்ட் ஹி கில்லிங் பட் வி ஹாப்பி அபவுட் தட் அவர் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் யூஸிங் தமிழ் பர்பஸ்ஃபுல்லி தே ஆர் டூயிங் ஆல் த திங்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் இல்லையா நார்த் இந்தியன்ஸ் Uh, doing like this uh, over here so i request you to have all this knowledge about that daily you have to at the time of reading you have to underline and uh, identify the verb that is active verb or passive verb which is that verb which is that adge- adverb which is that adjectives which is that subject and object and the, this kind of knowledge is uh, and uh, uh, implement at the time of that work is uh, presence of mind is very important my dear friend to have all the things so try to get that eight uh, 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 memorize all the things what are the, the uh, sentences we can change into the passive form and uh, what are the sentences uh, we can change the uh, we cannot change the passive form only the all the transformative verb la we can change into the passive voice in uh, intransitive verb all the intransitive verb we cannot change because any subject have the any subject have the to uh, object means we can change no object means uh, we cannot change that uh, sentence into the passive form but we cannot to do all the things for this suppose uh, my father gave me a watch that has the two uh, uh, two uh, object yes to uh, two object uh, for that we can write uh, two passive form two two passive form we can write shall i rub this active voice why we know we familiar with this uh, we have discussed uh, yesterday as well as uh, and today regarding for this only concentrate to have the knowledge about that the passive voice is uh, 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 important if uh, my father my uh, father uh, gave g a v e gave me a watch he gave me a watch w a t c h yesterday yesterday my uh, yesterday on that eve of my birthday or whatever it may be yes we have to divide these sentences it is subject it is verb this is for is that uh, me is that uh, one object this is called uh, indirect object i o the watch is the direct object direct object is a adverb adverb is also adverb and gold watch also we have to use regarding for this a gold watch that is a gold is a adjective gold is a adjective to the add meaning to the watch what you watch regarding in that place idike we have to write two passive form first you have to study about that this sentence is which form v2 illa v2 na past tense Uh, we have to we have how we can what are the past tense we have was where if uh, my father is a singular or plural but nowadays uh, people have many father but i have uh, many father my father is earthly father and uh, uh, another step father and god father and church father so many father illa <laughs> people are nowadays having uh, two people were fighting in the street and why they are fighting one boy is watching in that uh, persons and we are and have why are you eh? and uh, why are you watching that why don't you go and stop the fighting between the man the fighting was happens to me who are the people who was fighting but they my father then we go and stop the and save your father that first they have to decide who is my father <laughs> they are fighting for that the fight was going on that place and who is my father both person claim me i am uh, their son how is it possible one one son one person become that son to both person who will uh, uh, conquer and who will be defeated he is not my father who will uh, victory over and uh, won in that uh, duel and he is my father after that i will save my father people used to say regarding like that here it is two object first we have to change that me me is changes to i i what is that i is a singular i was but what is that give give given uh, past participle and v3 form i was given a watch uh, watch by my father by i, I was given given uh, given a watch uh, given a 
the watch here it is uh, wat is you can watch by my father my uh, by my father yesterday yesterday we have to write one sentence next thing is a watch yeah watch was given you know it is singular da i is also singular a watch is also watches means where watches were given means where a watch was given uh, to me to me by my father by my father yesterday okay Uh, regarding in that place we have to write that two sentences one object means we have to transform into one uh, one uh, uh, active passive voice two object means uh, here it is two object direct object and uh, indirect object two sentences we can write here it is for that uh, i am uh, i am uh, i am working uh, i am working Uh, in uh, in mgr college mgr college hosur here we cannot change h o s u r here it is uh, i am working subject is there verb is there but uh, in mgr college it is not the object here it is the complement here it is the complement here no object for this i cannot change i cannot uh, change this into the passive form so the verb should be the a uh, transitive verb the verb must have the object that is essential yes i i uh, i gave 100 rupees note to my friend yes so for example uh, my friend was given i i give i give 100 rupees a uh, note to my friend for example a 100 rupees note is given to my friend by me uh, daily or the 100 rupees note was is given by me to my friend and daily we have to write at the time of reading you can you will get lot of uh, examples regarding for this okay uh, these are that the basic fundamental things uh, we must keep primarily the active voice of the uh, active voice of the subject and the object will be interchanged the verb should be have that corresponding tense only present tense means present tense past tense means past tense future tense means future tense but that form should be used regarding with this here it is a is eaten is a present tense only here it is that uh, here it is a is being eaten is also present continuous yeah. and uh, has been eaten has been eaten is also present perfect here it is also present perfect only was eating even the that is called uh, past tense only past uh, by simple past idile was being eaten means that is a past continuous yes here inga irukku parunga was being eaten this is for past continuous here had be, had been eaten it is also the past perfect here it is the mango will be eaten that is a simple future and uh, a mango will have been eaten by me that is also present perfect these are the basic knowledge and the meanings should not be changed by na i eat a mango or mango was eaten by me meaning cannot be changed that both things done by one is that done uh, uh, i done that activity eating by my force of compulsion of mother compulsion of father but illya uh, <coughs> the another is that uh, myself is a very important meanings should not be changed and also tense should not be changed adjective adverb should be remain you need not worry about that what is adjectives what is adverb yes that is adjective is extra meanings to the for i am a handsome person yes that is i am a handsome i am a most knowledgeable person in the world adala vandu apdi la solla koodadu no one is the most knowledgeable person yeah, who is a wise man know his foolishness but the foolishness no he is pridefulness don't be as a prideful person don't be as a foolish try to be as a wise man to find out our own mistake find out our own weakness uh, that is essential to get success in our life thank you friend i suggest you to uh, subscribe and uh, like subscribe share this video with your friend as well as uh, relatives for uh, their uh, development of english language if you like it thank you so much bye we will meet with another topic in that uh, some other topic related to english language thank you